Hello everyone and welcome to this new video series which we are launching on the Civil Engineering Essentials channel in which we are going to be talking about Pile Foundation. Basically the theory behind Pile Foundation, the modeling of those things in Autodesk robots and the design process of those piled foundation. Now I know that most of you have studied piled foundation during their foundation engineering courses in their BSc. However, I want to do a quick revision about this in this video series and then go one step ahead explaining how to model those things in Autodesk Robot. And I'll basically spoil some of those spoilers during this video. So with that being said, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Now before I start, I noticed a heartbreaking fact on this channel, which is that most of you viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So I really hope that with the videos I'm uploading on this channel, I might have earned your subscription and like. So go ahead, please, and subscribe. You would make me much happier. Anyway, today I'll be talking about the workflow and what we'll be covering in this series. Now the objectives are basically understanding what pile foundations are in singular and in group, then be able to calculate geotechnical strength of piles, design concrete piles, of course steel also, modeling those piles in Autodesk Robot, and applying this little knowledge on full structures in Robot. It's not only going to be Robot Heavy, there is also Excel files, and a lot of technical things we'll be talking about during this video series. So our workflow is going to be split into three things. The first thing is going to be technical, theoretical knowledge. This is where the reference uh, principles of Foundation Engineering, 7th edition by Braja M. Das, might become interesting. I'm pretty sure you have studied this in university or maybe have heard about this. This is one of the uh, go-to books when it comes to Foundation Engineering in universities. So basically this reference will cover our theoretical knowledge. Then we will be tried to implement a simple implement implementation in robot and then do a structural implementation in robot. How we implement those things in robot is something I will mention during this video. Of course, there will be explanation, detailed step-by-step -step procedures to do this in Autodesk Robot. Now for the theoretical knowledge, we are going to try to cover the principles of pile analysis and design. I'm pretty sure you have studied those, but I need to give a quick refresher just to get you up to speed because I'm going to use some terminology when it comes to simplified and implementation structure and I don't want you to be lost on the terminology. Now, first of all, I will be focusing on a codeless explanation. So basically I'm going to use the book of Praja and Das because that guy is not code oriented, it's codeless, in which we're going to be talking about pile foundation strength in groups and even lateral pile foundation, which is not being discussed a lot. You might be interested in this, especially if you are using piles as retaining piles. You might have seen this in big uh, projects. Teaching assistant is gonna be adding a picture here where you have a big site where you want to make a tower and a basement and that you would put some retaining piles between your plot of land and the next plot of land next to you because you want to protect the soil. Maybe, and only maybe, I might be giving a quick rundown on what the Eurocode say, states about those points if I have time. And we're gonna develop or use Excel sheets for geotech calculations. I'm saying develop or use because I might be using external material. Of course, if I'm using external material, I will be referencing those if they are freely available. Now, if you want to read ahead about how this is done in robot, you can double check this stuff. This is a link that gave me the inspiration for this series because the link is kind of ambiguous of how you do things, so I wanted to make a video series about this. Also, believe it or not, since I teach at universities, I get this question asked a lot, and uh, I want to give a full video series about this that might benefit other people. Okay, now for simplified implementation, what I mean by this is that we're going to implement a simple, singular pile foundation to try to explain how we can take the theoretical knowledge and port it into robot. Now this is of course not really an interesting thing because there is a simplified pile as you can see here. Or this is of course uh, provided by the Autodesk website itself. Now we might also cover partially how to model mats on piles. So if you have a big mat foundation, you could have piles beneath it. In that case, you have a dual. I'm not talking about pile cap. I'm talking about a mat foundation with piles. In that case, you have dual behavior. The mat foundation itself has its springs underneath it and the pile foundation has springs underneath it. And then of course, we're gonna implement this on a structure. When we implement this on a structure, we are going to basically maybe use or continue our reinforced concrete design series. There is a reinforced concrete design series, which I froze partially. We were about to start with the foundations there. I'm gonna link it in the top right. And I was contemplating maybe I should add a raft or something. 
which is also something I will be doing in that series. However, I thought maybe I should use it to explain Pile Foundation. So this is a maybe. Finally, I want to recommend reading Principles of Foundation during 7th edition, chapter 11, because I will be covering that thing during this video series. Now, I said that I want to spoil how this is done in robot. So basically, how am I going to do this Nautilus robot? The workflow is as follows. You would have to, first of all, using Excel, estimate the bearing capacity of a pile, okay, using all the stuff that we learned in the theoretical model. Then you would go to your model and implement the piles into the model. Implementing the piles into the model means that if you have a pin foundation, let's say you have a pin, pin support or a fixed support, you are going to replace the pin support with an equivalent pile. The pile is going to be a bar element or a beam element with the length of the pile and is going to be supported by springs laterally and vertically to kind of model the deflection behavior of the pile. Finally, the design is going to be covering the check if the reaction on the pile is more than what the pile can geotechnically carry. This means that your pile needs to be either increased in diameter or increased in length. And if it does carry, then we're going to design the pile in Autodesk Robot. So basically what will happen, like the gist of our model implementation of piles is going to be the replacement of our pin and fixed supports with column or beam elements that are supported by springs. And how we calculate those springs is something I'll be talking about in the future of this video series. And then we do the following robot. We check the reaction, double check with the geotechnical capabilities of the pile. If that's fine, then we take this and design it. And if it's not fine, then we have to basically improve the pile by either adding more piles or increasing the length or increasing the diameter and so on. You can expect some insights in robot and you can even maybe study ahead if you want and check out how you can model piles using springs because the entire gist of it is going to be the replacement, as I said before, of the support with a bar with springs. That is my intention. With that being said, this ends my introduction for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the end, I want to give a Pile Foundation sized shout out to my dear channel members in the contributor level and the helper level whose names are going to be shown on the screen. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart as the support of the channel is priceless to me and enables me to provide you with videos hopefully on time and with a certain quality I try to achieve. And for that, I am forever thankful. I hope that you enjoyed the video and you found it beneficial. If you have enjoyed the video, then please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and so on, especially subscribing, because it helps increase the reach of my channel. As per usual, this is the Civil Engineering Essentials channel, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.